Welcome! In front of me I have Mibro Watch X1 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First you will need to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the home button. Keep holding it until you see the logo on the screen and once you do you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on you should see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch, tap on it to select it and once you select the language tap on the check mark to confirm. <laughs> after you select the language you will see this QR code. It means that we need to download and install the Mebro Fit application on our iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled and once you do uh, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store tap on the search icon then tap on the search bar and type in uh, Mebro Fit and tap on search. Find the Mebro Fit application on the list, tap on it, tap on the get button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. Once the application opens, you may get the couple of pop-ups about the permissions. Basically, we need to allow or deny the permissions. As you can see here, we have the permission for the location. You can allow it or deny it. If you want to track some uh, or use features like tracking the exercise and stuff like that, you probably want to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm just going to allow it. Next, we have the Bluetooth permission. This one is required, so tap on OK. Here you can allow other apps and companies to track the data from this app. I'm just gonna ask to not track. And finally, let's tap on Agree. Scroll down and tap on Understood. Understood rather. Once you're done with the permissions, you will see the login page, and here we need to log in into a account. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can tap on Registration, or you can use also the third-party uh, login pages like Google, Facebook, Apple, and stuff like that. Or other third-party accounts, not login pages, my bad. Okay, I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap right here. Enter the email address and password, so give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and once you're done, you can tap on login uh, to login into account. Oh, I must have entered the password wrong, so give me a second. Okay, and after you log in, you probably will get this pop up on the screen, which asks you to uh, allow the um, features like steps and walking and running distance to write and read data from the application. You can do it by tapping on the switch next to the uh, feature to enable it or disable it. So adjust it to your liking and then tap on allow or don't allow if you don't want to allow. I'm just gonna tap on turn on all and tap on allow. And once you're done with the health uh, permissions, you'll see the homepage of the app. Now tap on the device icon, tap on add device, scroll through the list, find the Mebro Watch X1 wait until the app detects your watch, tap on it to select it. Tap on pair, allow or deny the permission for the notifications. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch, allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And then tap on complete, tap on understood. And now on the device page, you should see you your watch, Mebro Watch X1 right here, and, and it should say connected. Also, you can use your watch now at this point. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.